Uh, TD, does an AVR decode DA the same for top fronts and front heights? Um, no, no, it shouldn't be the same information. He's ta- I'm assuming you're talking about Dolby Atmos. Yeah, my own, yeah, so you, yeah, yeah so your yeah. Front, front heights and your rear heights are going to have two different... Um, you know, uh, oh, oh, but but top front means an in ceiling, and then front height is a speaker, like a uh-huh. bookshelf speaker, uh-huh. right? The yeah, top yeah. front, top in in like a Denon or a Marantz AVR. Top front refers to the in ceiling. Top front, top middle, oh, top, okay, top back, okay. right? That's how they yeah. designate it, right? As opposed to front, front heights as a speaker. I would imagine so it's different. so he's saying having both of those. No, it's just it does it de- decode it differently because the AVR assumes top fronts are in your ceiling because that's what it right. is, as opposed to front heights. Which so he's are not mounted. talking about having both of those at the same time, though. No, 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 either no, or. No, okay. it, yeah, yeah, obviously. So yeah. I don't know. So top. Okay, so hold on a second. Top front, front heights. So top is front is at most. setup. That would be your top front would be your at most. Like in mine, I, I mean, it's front and right, right, right. So top front would just be front. Okay. Let me ask speakers this. versus uh, front heights. Does the AVR decode differently because it thinks the speakers are in different locations? Wait, hold on a second. Real quick, Chana, uh, can mm-hmm. you use top fronts with Oro? No. No, right? No. Not in the AVR. You cannot. Okay. So I, I think it's important to know, like, if he's asking if it decodes the same, if it's if we're talking about Oro. I mean, he sp- specifically said Dolby Atmos, the DA. Dolby, in the, okay. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't know what that was. It's Dolby duh. Atmos. Duh. Duh, Joe. <laughs> <heard> <laughs> um, so, okay. So th- is it the same? Like, is it the same information? That's an interesting... You know, I could test that out here. I have those two. So I could do like a, a what is it? A binaural recording and be like change in the AVR settings, front height, and then record something and then change it to top front and then record yeah. something to see if this is the same information coming out of the speaker. I mean, I would imagine the AVR would make it different because, you know, in nah. the room, it's different. Mm-hmm. Uh, my uh, guess is that it's going to be the same. I that's what I kind of have a feeling it's going to be I exactly think the same. Be the same. Mm-hmm. I don't think that they're going to. Well, does Dolby Atmos have something that says specifically uh, front heights? I mean, it just in the um, you go into the Ampersign screen, you'll see. You know, what like it I says can ch- I can choose mine to be front height or um, in ceiling speakers for my front two. Okay, yeah. but that's that, a that's a Denon or Marantz or uh-huh. AVR thing, right? Right. I don't think Dolby Atmos itself says like right. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you know, sure. use the front height. Use right. so I'm assuming that they're just yeah, just throw that content up there. Right. Okay. So like what Jed is saying is the acoustic timing is different, and that could definitely be the case. Well, it would be because the distance would probably be different, right? Right. So if you have it, a front on wall, you know, something uh, you know, front height, it's going to be a different distance. Yeah. So the calibration would do something different, mm-hmm. but we're at, the the question is: Is a signal going in going to be different? Yeah. Are if we you say get... that it's one and not the other, and I don't think so. Well, be interesting yeah. to find out. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. All right. We get Dolby on the phone, man. So what's yeah, up? Just Let us David know. Dolby, get on here. Get on here, buddy. I just yeah. made up a name. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you'd like to join us in the after show, make sure to become a patron. It would be patreon.com slash daily hi fi, and you get to video chat, you know, kind of like this with us after the show. It's pretty awesome. You should check it out. <laughs> <laughs>